so what we would like to do is start sharing with you information from these two uh, wonderful programs who have taken on some of the key issues in this area. Uh, but in doing so, we want to share with you how we'll do that this morning. Next slide, please. We will want to provide you with some detailed background down to the frontline level as to how our organizations have worked together to address this issue, all, and then move all the way through to issues related to the future of, and next steps regarding these programs. In doing so, we'll do a very simple process of we will have presentations from each of our colleagues, which will be able to have a short Q&A to, to follow up after each one. And then at the end of the set presentations, we will host questions from the audience. So we have muted all lines. You can use the Q&A uh, buttons. The chat room will not work. And as you can see, if you use your, the thumbs up um, item on your question, it will help bring it to our attention. Uh, we are going to make sure that you are will have access to all the slides that we're presenting and we're recording the session so that that will be available to others afterwards. And as we'll talk at the end, we will have a modest evaluation that we'll send you for not only how, what we can uh, learn from this program and what you have learned, but what we can present in the future. So with that, let me go over the details of what the presentations will cover. Next slide. We are going to not only talk about Lighthouse and just give you an idea of what we have put together, a very a multimodal approach to addressing this issue, but some of the key lessons that we have already seen as we've worked together for quite a few months now in how we design this with and empowering residents and including them in terms of engagement, how we have looked at various solutions. We're looking for the most affordable, accessible, uh, and customizable solutions that will work with organizations throughout the United States and beyond. And we're already anticipating how do we take the lessons that we learn and we're going to start sharing with you today, and that we're still in process of learning, and be able to help organizations think about these at scale, and how do we move them out to other organizations, which is our mission. Uh, again, we'll have Q&A, and at the end, we will wrap up with some uh, questions and we will invite you to our future sessions. So with that, I'd like to start with the next slide and share with you what has uh, Lighthouse been? Why was it created? What are the opportunities it's providing? Not only the residents we're working with, but the organizations, families of residents, providers to learn new approaches, and particularly in the era of COVID, uh, how do we address these issues? Next slide. So for everyone on this, uh, uh, we assume our audience is quite familiar with this, that uh, coming from backgrounds where many folks here are either working in the fields of aging, housing, other types of health and social services, uh, or in policy, we hope, uh, we are really dealing with a critical issue that we all know is still uh, confounding society. And that is, not only older adults, uh, but all society, we have a disparity in terms of broadband access, particularly to individuals in homes. But older adults in particular, those over 65, um, are at a great uh, disparity in this area. The issue that we are looking at are that not only is it access and comfort level of using technology, but being able to afford it. And that when we look at this population, and particularly those individuals living in affordable housing, uh, individuals are often 10 times more likely to be offline and not have any digital access at all. So the issue that we discovered, uh, obviously, during COVID is that so many individuals uh, lack uh, technology, access to the web, access to internet connectivity, that it had a profound impact in terms of not only uh, communication and access to services, but actually in terms of leading to poor health outcomes, uh, isolation, depression, et cetera. Next slide. So to address this, the Escaton Front Porch and Citrus teams came together with a number of other collaborators uh, and uh, private sector as well 
as input from public sector as to how we could look at this from a multiple, multiple perspectives. So Lighthouse itself is now a program that is developing a digital literacy peer training program, but built around getting internet broadband installed into uh, different buildings, affordable housing buildings of different scale and locations and uh, demographics. Doing that with also bringing in internet service, providing the technology to residents, but adding this extra layer around digital literacy training. In addition, when we are doing this program, we are doing uh, developing evidence-based work at every step to determine what is working, what isn't, how we can better. You're gonna hear some of those results as we go through the program today. Ultimately, as we started, we'll come back to this because we've already been starting from the beginning of looking at what will it take to take these lessons and apply them, not only here in California where we are starting, but across different states and across different uh, types of services and programs. Next slide. So over the last eight months from the time when we were uh, very fortunate to have an anonymous donor support this very critical issue and design this program, we have undertaken several new approaches that we consider important and doing a rapid cycle iteration to understand what works, what we can, how we can test out different elements and then move forward. We are working on special approaches for bringing uh, broadband into the buildings. We are still in process of working at uh, identifying ways we will have internet service at an affordable rate going forward. But we have done the technology and training and use of technology, building it around an empathy process. And that you will hear from, from our colleagues next. We were able to do uh, a rapid pilot deployment to test very early programs. And this started around the holidays. And we have some very intriguing findings, more, again, qualitative than uh, quantitative at this point. And we are looking at different ways to move to different locations, both in Southern California and Northern California. At this point, we expect to scale very quickly to uh, over 500 residents in different project locations as models. And again, we are in process of looking at different types of technology solutions, which we'll also cover. So with that, if we go to the next slide. We'd like to start by having our colleague, uh, uh, Davis Park uh, introduce the work that uh, are, uh, has been done in both organizations on the community engagement and how this has started from the ground up. So I would like to turn the program over to Davis who will now take us through this first lesson.